once you have the template open, the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and add your class name here. So you'll double click here to add your name in or highlight and select. I'm just going to call it English. And that'll be our daily warm up. The next thing I want to do is come in here and I'm going to find some images for these words and some definitions. So I'm going to come over here to images and I'm going to type in the word big. All right. And so once I type in the word big, I get a whole lot of stuff. For those that are familiar with searches, here's some tips. I might do big and then minus the movie and minus biggie. And see what that does. And then this gives me a hint. So maybe I just put in the opposite of big along with big and see what happens. So I'll type in small. And now you'll see I got a bunch of images with animals. And then that leads me to an idea where I can take a concept and use animals to maybe illustrate the concept. Big animals. And let's just see what we get. So I got this elephant. So I'm going to left click on the elephant. Uh, or woolly, I'm going to left click on the woolly mammoth. So I'm going to left click on the woolly mammoth. And then I'm going to do right click and choose copy image. So I'm going to paste the image into my template, control V. And I'm going to cover up this text right here where it says image. So just cover it up. And this I'm going to click inside of here once. Control A, and then I'm going to type in the word big, and then I'll get a definition. So let me point out to you some resources that are available to you. Slides 11 and 12 have resources. So on slide 11, these are dictionary resources, so you can use them to look up words like big, tiny, and small and get a definition for them. This right here is a set of resources for images. Some of these images do not work on our filter, and so you could use them at home to find information. But uh, the ones I'm going to use for today are going to be Pix for Learning, Pixabay, and Wikimedia. So I like what Fred did when he was trying to illustrate it. He used animals. And so I'm going to type in animals. And then if I do a search for animals, I get some animals here. Right, and then I can decide if they're big or small. Same thing over here. This is another site where I typed in the word tiny. There's a palm of a hand that gives you some relationship to size. And so that can help you to figure it out. So now what I want to do is once I have an image, um, let's say I take this beetle and the, this picture here, I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on it. And you can download the image, or if you right click and just choose copy image, come over to your daily warm up, and we're going to put it in here. And then you may have to resize. If you drag from the corner right here, this keeps it in proportion. So I'm just going to stick the image right over top of that. And then the definition, I'm going to come over here. If I go to this slide right here, the dictionary resources, these are all hyperlinked. And you can click on one and open it up. So let's just say I went in here for the definition for size. Total amount of space a thing has, total number of people in a group. If I did tiny using a different dictionary, this is Cambridge. It said extremely small, so maybe use the word very small. And you notice a tiny baby, tiny little room. Big, using the other dictionary, Kids Wordsmith, I put in the word big, and it said large in size, number or weight, right? And so what I would do is I would take this and I would put in the definition that I like best. So I'm going to come back to my chart, and I'm going to say very small. I'm going to come back to the part where we're doing a bunch of images. And so what you're going to want to do is paste your images on 
and add an animation. So what I'm going to do to show you that is I'm going to just do control V to paste. All right. So there's my picture. Once I have my picture here, I'm going to set it where I want. So it's going to be in this box. And then I'm going to come up to where it says insert. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says animation. Now this will pop up an animation pane. Sometimes I, if you have trouble getting this after you edit something and you put a picture in and then you close this out, here's what I recommend doing. Um, you just select this again and then choose insert animation. And now it'll have two of them on here, but here's the trash can so you can get rid of that animation. Basically you want these to appear. So what's going to happen is, is that as I put images in, they're going to show up over here when I add an animation to them. So let me get another picture of another animal. We're going to do uh, the lion. If you run into an area where you can't copy the image, here's another hack on your keyboard. If you want to, you can do Windows Shift S. That's Windows Shift S. And that's going to give you this little screenshot recording thing that you can drag across like this. And now it's on my computer clipboard. So here we go back on my slide. And so what I'm going to do is do control V for paste control C is copy or Windows shift S gives you a screen copying thing that you can paste in when you are done. So control V and there's my image. I'm going to again, remember, from the corner, keep it in proportion. And you notice I'm putting it right on top of the other one and you can adjust this however you like. Uh, so there's no animation. So what I have to do is come up here and do insert and I'm going to choose animation. I could do it there or I could simply left click on the picture and choose add animation and the appear is my default animation. So what this is going to look like is it's going to show this one first, which is the bug and then the lion. So when I go up here to view slideshow, nothing shows up. So this you'll probably want to remove or delete. And then when I hit do my click, this shows up. And then the next one shows up. And so what you would do is if we're doing this exercise, you would say, is this tiny? And they would do thumbs up. And you would say, is this tiny? And they would do thumbs down. Is this size? And so that's how we put images into our document.